a, a brief clip emerged of Dougie B trying to put his arm around Kashawn Rock as they walked backstage. However, she rejected his attempt. Dougie B seems to be aware of Blueface's jealousy because he apologized to him for putting his arm around Rock. In response, Blueface shared that he has the utmost love and respect for his BM Alexis and making it clear he doesn't feel for Kashawn in the same way. That said, he has no issues with Dougie B. Hey, I use this example, right? And how I say, because I commented, New York niggas is real respectful when they want to be. And I say this, right, because, nigga, my, my interaction in New York was like this, you feel me? I got a black bandana on, and I'm in the Bronx. I'm in a bodega by myself. I got a black bandana on, you feel me? Four niggas walk past the bodega. Three of them don't see me, but the fourth one, he walked past, and he double take. He looked me up and down, got right up on me. He said something, something like, like, like you feel me, what you jack? Yeah. And I'm like, as soon as I got to talking and he heard my accent, his whole vibe changed. And he was like, hey, yo, part of my soul. Like, you yeah. feel me? I didn't know you was I, I didn't know you was from LA, part of my soul. Like I apologize yeah. with you. Now Britt can attest to this. Yeah. LA nigga, you from out of town. You come in this motherfucker, nigga, get up on you. Where you from? I'm from out of town. So, so what? what? Take nigga, that shit off. I'm the dead of me. So, so what? Care. Take That's that shit off. Like, like, yeah, it's still yeah, on yeah, you. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? New York. Good. It, it's, it blew my mind. It I'm just like, depends because oh, some niggas respectful. in New York could yeah. get on nah, some. They real, no, no, they real niggas. They was on that. Yeah, they was and on when that. When he found out that he didn't have yeah. nothing to do with what he they had going on, he was on, extremely they let it respectful. Slide. He was extremely yeah. respectful. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? the black flag in New York is tricky nowadays. Though. It used to this, not never this, be like this that. This was like 2021. Yeah. You feel me? I wasn't hit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, nigga, I. I had phase, you feel me? Now I'm in the beanie phase, but I'll wear bandanas of whatever color I got on. You yeah. feel me? If I got a, a, a white outfit on, I got the white bandana on. Yeah. It, if I got a gray outfit on, gray bandana on, you feel me? Yeah. I'm, I'm on that. So it just happened to be a day that I'm walking, and then he was like, part of my soul, I thought you Jack GD. I seen your, 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 your X, Y, and Z, you feel me? He was like, nah, part of my soul. Like, yeah, yeah. oh, you from LA? He started asking me you questions. Like, yeah. like, he was hella yeah, yeah. cool. He was like, oh, you from LA? What part? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was smooth. Yeah. Uh, uh, LA, nigga? Boy, you still might get your ass beat. But you might get robbed, man. What you doing over <laughs> that here? That part. What you nigga, doing what over you here? What you doing over here, nigga? I don't know. Disrespectful. Like, right, uh, you, you gangbang where you from? They, they're trying to figure it out. <laughs> they There's own no you. sweat. They, I mean, New, it's all New York sweat. niggas, and I would just say, not to say, because Dougie immediately hopped in, his, hopped in his DM and apologized, and I'm like, bro, I fuck with that. They real niggas, bro, and yeah. they respectful. Yeah, you nah. Yeah, no, definitely. Me me traveling a lot, New York niggas, they do be with the respect first type shit, but mm -hmm. they really be on some wild shit. But, but they it's own like, that. It's like they parents trained them a certain way or right. them niggas on the block trained them a certain way. Niggas got good home training. Yeah. Our yeah, oh, mamas can say they got good yeah, home training. Yeah, they got good home training me? on the yeah. dead homies. And <laughs> I don't know if it's a, 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 if it's a fashion to rock like that, but it's a cool thing. Like yeah. if it's if it's just something like that people carry along with because they think it's cool, like the lingo, like you know what I'm saying, part of my but nigga, that's a cool thing, like like they that they got going on because they all like that. That's see. They that's all, how I know that, you and, and I ain't saying like that all of it ain't nothing about being nice, nigga, because I know some New York niggas that really do that. So mm -hmm. but no, even them like was on my like, ass. like my closest little homeboy from New York, Henny, mm. cuz I'm six so cuz like over respectful, like but he come from like Caribbean background, like like Jamaican and all they that. They was so, dark. Yeah, you he get probably what I'm was, saying. He so, probably was an islander. Yeah, they you raised get different. what I'm saying. They yeah, raised yeah, different. Yeah, Jamaicans, them, Haitians. Yeah, you get what yeah, I'm saying. Motherfuckers yeah. from Trinidad, yeah. Tobago. They yeah, definitely they are. Raised a lot of different. foreigners in New York. They yeah. respect yeah. each other. You know what I'm saying? They respect. They 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 they, they are like they family based because is different. that's what they got here on. You get what I'm saying? That's a fact, and that's what I seen. When I seen him reply to uh, the uh, blue face, I'm like, yeah, that's them respectful New York niggas. Like, you feel yeah. me? I'm like, I fuck with that. They own that. That don't mean they pussy. They own that for sure. But yeah. nigga, them some disrespectful motherfuckers. But when yeah. it's time to be respectful, nigga, they're respectful. And they own that shit. But also, it's like, nigga, I got too much beef and shit going on in the hood. I ain't got, I ain't trying to be beefing with niggas in the industry if I ain't really got to. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So yeah. he probably ain't mean no harm yeah. in that shit. Nah, right. he didn't mean no harm. Yeah, you, you could, could tell. tell. And then she pregnant. Yeah. But it's just like, shit, he reached out. But that's a real yeah. nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like all the way across the board. Some niggas are like, but, man, I don't give a fuck. But what they tripping even... off of is how Blueface ain't giving a fuck about the bitch. That's why it made the news. I right. mean, that's why it made the shit. Could we see the text? Because like, he say, uh, it was a repost in the story, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, all right, so um, I'm sure y'all can see it at home, but all right, Dougie DMs Blue, and, and he was like, yo, gang, I apologize for that. I was just saying hi, feel me? I wasn't on no funny shit or trying to get up on the word. My fault, big bro. Keep getting money, gang. 
And then um, I don't know if Blueface replies, but he screenshots it and he uh, posts it on the story and he says, I'm not tripping off that one. It's fair game, little bro. Now, if that was, and then he tags his baby mama, uh, Jaden Alexis, I would be upset. I fuck with multiple bitches at a time, but I don't care for multiple bitches at a time. Uh, he, she only acted like that because she ain't know you had status. If you was anybody else bigger, she would have been cool with it. I know this. Maybe she wasn't hip to who Dougie was. That's yeah, what he said. Yeah, she he, probably Dougie be that huge was, out there, nigga. Yeah, she probably just didn't know what was going on. Mm. Uh, six, so, but at the end of the day, he, the bitch is too outside for for blue face cuz like 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 a nigga right. a nigga like a player type nigga but your baby the bitch that you having a baby you with gotta kind of be tough. different than these bitches that a nigga playing ball with and if like and if a nigga is playing ball getting money with a bitch or whatever she is still has to meet a certain standard to have a baby by a nigga even while she playing ball because we all know that the career damn near go in with the motherfucker you know what I'm saying because you ain't even go damn near like it. you know what I mean that's a tough decision to make at the end of the day. Nowadays, like back Facts. in the days, a motherfucker used to just be cut though. Like fuck it, you know what I'm saying? The only critique Let I got to this shit out. is, uh, I wonder if they got like a relationship before this shit, cause niggas be quick with the big bro shit. Like if this your first time really chopping it with nigga, just to be like, but my at bad, the same time, bro, Dougie B's like 19. Yeah, cool, but just calling everybody big yeah, bro. Yeah, that big bro shit. That big crazy. bro yeah. should be crazy. Hey, no, like, but, but, but it be you just don't too know quick. If, but, and he like twenty. But I'm saying they could have talked. But what if he know? He probably know what they probably know. That's each what I'm saying. Other. If they got a relationship if they know before, each other, then it's yeah. all cool. Yeah, but, but if that's the first time y'all chopping it, you just first like my bad, they big bro. Each other, they probably got a, a, a face to face because Dougie yeah. and Blueface. Dougie started rolling out like what seventeen. He, when he was going crazy with, yeah. I mean, not 2017, yeah. but when he was like 17. Yeah, teenager. Yeah, mm -hmm. so nigga, Blue Face came out with still K on, kids. You got to think, a lot of niggas do business out there in New York when it comes to these record labels. Like, everybody go up there, so you don't know who was checking in with who or who met each other at the studio or backstage nah, at these concerts to sure. where they might have been in three different cities together. Shit, after three different cities together, nigga, being in the industry, y'all that kicked the shit. We is bros. Like, yeah, you nah, know what I'm saying? That's yeah. what I'm saying. If they had a yeah. relationship already, then I'm cool yeah, with it. But, yeah. but you know how uh, niggas be doing. They be ODing yeah, with nah, this the big bro. The big crazy. Yeah, nah, big bro me every day. Niggas you know, older than me, big you know bro. That blew you know, my that, mind. That, yeah. that epidemic need to stop, riding, man. We got to stop riding, that. Dick riding be at an all-time high. All-time high right now, bro. I talked to my first time and say big bro is crazy. It's like, while I'm on the news now, please Please stop sliding in my motherfucking DMs asking me to put you on 60s and show you what the fuck the 60s is. And, and sound like nigga, the police. You're trying to Do you check have a wire? With me, man. I don't run that department, man. I'm the dad. <laughs> said, army, I don't nigga. run the freshly I'm put on through the internet department. I don't run, that department, department, I don't run that department. I'm six, so I'm right here going through a, a midlife crisis myself, nigga. I'm one <laughs> foot in, one foot out, man. Right, man. Call somebody else, man. If you don't know me directly and you ain't seen me in person, please stall me, gang.